Hello, thank you for joining us. We're going to be in Genesis 28. We're going to be uh, a journey of Jacob from his father's house to Laban and what happened in between. Uh, and we're going to start, I'm reading from the Good News Version of starting with Genesis 28 verse 10. And it starts by saying, Jacob left Beersheba and started toward Herod. At sunset he came to a holy place and camped there. He lay down to sleep, resting his head on a stone. I want to stop here. We're going to be going through this story and this journey probably over the next couple of weeks, but I want to stop here today. We see Jacob. Jacob has left his father's house. Jacob has left after cheating his brother out of the blessing, cheating his brother out of Esau out of the, out of the uh, birthright. And here is Jacob. His father called and blessed him and then sent him off to find a wife. In the meantime, we see that Esau hated Jacob. So we have a brother um, that's looking and thinking about destroying another brother, kind of like Cain and Abel on a different level. And yet Jacob now has left his father's house. Jacob has left his father's place. His father had given him a blessing. His father had blessed him and sent him on his way. But outside the protection of his home, before he reaches the place of his destination, we find, we see Jacob at a place that he knew was holy. And I wanted to stop there today to say, let's recognize the holy places in our lives. Let's recognize the holy places in our existence. Let's recognize the holy places. Sometimes we think about the holy places as just church. But holy places can be anywhere where the presence of God dwells in us and with us. A sacred and a holy place can be your home when God dwells there and peace and love dwell there. A holy place can even be on your job. You look around and go, yeah, right. You see my job? But we can bring God's presence into it and make it holy. So let's... Today, let's be grateful about the holy places that God has placed in our lives, the holy places that he has with us, and the holy places that he has designed for us. And let's enjoy his holy places today. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.